The Bride takes the turntable for a spin. Here's a look at the new waxwork Spinatures, The Bride of Frankenstein Turntable Spinner Mini Figure. The Bride Lives, pieced together with body parts, a lab-grown brain, and a heart cut from a living girl, The Bride of Frankenstein is the captivating leading lady of horror. Brought to life by a lightning bolt, The Bride of Frankenstein's spinacher is ready to electrify your turntable. Before we get down to the review of the Spinature's Bride of Frankenstein, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how tall it actually stands. I'd like to thank the folks over at Waxwork Records that provided this sample of Bride that we could have a look at in this review. I wonder what kind of albums Bride of Frankenstein listens to. I'm guessing something from Patsy Cline. Nonetheless, though, we're going to take the tape measure right to the very top of her head. We're going to stop it right there. And according to the readouts, this spinacher of Bride of Frankenstein stands 4.3 inches tall. Switching that quickly to centimeters, the Bride of Frankenstein is 11 centimeters exactly. Seeing as we've looked at one of these spinachers in the past, we can move over the Bride of Frankenstein and bring in her beau, Frankenstein's monster himself. There is some size difference, although I would say he's a little bit wider, Frankie is, but Bride Frankenstein, due to the size of her Marge-shaped hair piece, well, hair sculpt, she does make for a little bit of a higher spinature when you have these on display. I absolutely love the fact, first and foremost, the fact that they are doing these in a black and white treatment. It's not to say that they couldn't do a different color scheme, but usually when I'm thinking of the universal monsters like the Bride of Frankenstein and like Frankenstein's monster, I like to consider them more in a gray scale. And it's nice to see that Waxwork Records agrees with that as well. Based on the 1935 classic Bride of Frankenstein, if you could believe it, sits higher on my list of favorite monster movies from Universal. Even higher, actually, than Frankenstein himself. There's always something that's been quite captivating about this particular movie. And though the Bride of Frankenstein is in the movie for very a short period of time, the longevity of this character so many years after it was released, the fact that she is making merchandise and spinachers is still quite the feat for a character that, like I said, appeared in a lot less movies than Frankenstein's monster himself. Played in the film by Elsa Lanchester, again, for what short time she spent in this outfit, there's still something very captivating about this particular character. And I feel Waxwork has done a fantastic job of replicating Lanchester's role of the bride in a slightly smaller and slightly missing lower half recreation of the bride. She is all done here in black and white. And for comparisons again, as we sort of started that with at the beginning of this review, bringing in the Frankenstein's monster. Another one of the spinachers that Waxwork Records have released. Frankenstein is a slightly more darker shade of grey when you compare him next to, say, the bride, who more shares a lighter scale of gray, more with the stark black, the very stark white, and sort of a combination in between, a kind of a medium or very light gray making up the majority of her body. One opportunity that she does get granted with that I maybe say that Frankenstein couldn't get is because she has a lighter coloring for her body and for her face, I feel like the details stand out so much richer because you can see the stark dark panel lining especially like the stitching underneath her, her chin, for example, the dark coloring of her lips, even the colors of her eyes stand out so much better than Frankenstein, because again, I feel it's, it's that lighter coloring that they decided to go with. Now, if you are new to the idea of spinachers, essentially what it is, is they're mini figures that are going to sit on top of your turntable, specifically the little dowel that's in the middle that you sit your record on top of will actually situate itself inside the hole that's on the underneath of these mini figures. So essentially what it does then is as the record is spinning, you're going to have these spinachers spinning along with the tracks that you're listening to. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, I don't have a record player. I don't have a record player either, yet at least. I mean, with my interest in the spinachers so far, and the fact that I've always really wanted to get an album, a record player, 
Eventually, I am going to get them, and I could see myself displaying these on top of the records that I have turning. But the beauty of these, though, is the detail that they pack into these figurines is so good that even if you don't want to use them for turntable, and if you just want to use them on as a display piece, they make for really great looking statues. Because they are so super realistic and super detailed, again, I feel like they're perfect candidates for statues that you can just put on a shelf. And because they are generally small in size and scale, they don't take up a whole lot of, a lot of space, really. Uh, Waxwork have done a whole slew, or at least they're planning to release a whole bunch of spinatures. The one that really catches my attention the most, I think, is Michael Myers, taken from a different time frame in horror. Again, we don't want to take too much away from the bride here. Getting a closer look at the details, even like the bandages that they've wrapped around her arms. I do like the fact that this one little strap of fabric is draping down from the ends of her fingers. And that's a nice little touch there as well. She's also got a few little rags sticking out from the ends of her elbow here. Again, there's not a whole lot of color, but the color that they've incorporated into this is so rich that, again, you've got that real nice detailing to her face that looks super realistic. Spinning this around to the back so you can see the very exaggerated hairstyle that the bride was known for having. You gotta think that Marge Simpson took some inspiration cues from the bride. Bride has made many, it, many characters really have been inspired by the Bride of Frankenstein. I think even Syl was from Species pulled as at least an inspiration somewhat from the Bride of Frankenstein. I always really like this also little swoosh of lighter coloring hair that she had on the side of her hairstyle here. Again, the details are super rich, super sharp, and super detailed on this piece. That even if you don't decide to display this on a turning turntable, even if you want to just have them as display pieces, they don't take up a lot of space. Bring in, again, the Frankenstein's monster so we can compare the two. They just make for great-looking show pieces that you can put on display. Waxwork isn't just stopping with the Frankenstein's monster and the Bride of Frankenstein that we looked at in this review. They are expanding out the spinature line far beyond the reaches of just these two monsters, giving us even current monsters as well, like the Michael Myers that I'd also said in this review as well. Taking a slight detour in the norm of what we normally do here in Final Looks, where I would show you either the front or the back of the box that the figure or the collectible would be sitting inside, Deciding instead to show you guys the side of the box and some pretty stellar looking artwork of the Bride of Frankenstein. Now, I don't know if Waxwork actually designed this particular image, but the question I'm really most curious about is if they've used this image for anything else that's currently available, like a poster, an art print, or even a t-shirt. I love this image so much I would like to see this on something else that I can pick up and add to my collection. As it certainly goes for the Bride of Frankenstein, though she is missing her lower half, they have executed perfectly a likeness to her from the 1935 classic and the actress Elsa Lanchester that brought her to life. Though again, you aren't really getting the bottom half of her, what you are getting is a miniature that can spin on your record turntable, which I've somewhat recreated here in Final Looks, just more fluke than anything else, because normally in the Final Looks we always have things spinning around, but it gives you the idea of how the spinature works exactly. Although you would just swap this out with your favorite album, which up to this point I don't yet have myself a turntable, but it is something on my wish list items that I would eventually like to pick up. A nice large scale turntable that I can have in my living room where I can listen to some of my favorite albums. I do have albums and yet ironically I don't have a turntable right now. Right now. This is a fantastic like I said Bride of Frankenstein recreated here in black and white and I'm really glad to see that they're doing these spinatures in black and white. It's not to say that across the board all of them are going to be black and white. In fact if you look online to some of the other ones that Waxwork is going to be working on the spinature lines not only stretch from black and white to color but they're also stretch, stretch, stretching across the other monsters and characters that have gone from across the years of horror. So if you are a big fan of Universal Monsters these are definitely ones you will want to be picking up even again if you don't have it yourself a turntable these make for great little miniature statues that you can put on a shelf again a big thank you to the folks over at waxwork that provided the sample of the bride of frankenstein's spinature that we could have a look at in this review and like i said in this review i am super excited to pick up that michael myers even again i don't have myself a turntable just to have it as a display piece these pieces look fantastic let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of the spinature's bride of frankenstein and if you have been collecting them throughout the time that they have been releasing them i think they've released a couple so far 
I'm definitely excited to see what they're going to be doing in the not so distant future. If you guys are also new to this channel and enjoying all the content you're seeing, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. For your video question for today is, do you own any albums? And if you do, what is the favorite one that you have in your collection currently? You know, surprisingly, I think one of the first albums that I have in my collection was a Guess Who. I have a Guess Who album. I still don't have a record player. Eventually, that will be fixed. Lots of stuff coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep your peepers peeled to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.